truck driver encounters zombie deer. Suk Wu and his daughter board a train to Busan. Zombies attack, chaos ensues. Suk Wu and others fight to survive and reach Busan. Suk Wu sacrifices himself to save the others. Sun Kyung and Soon reach the military and are saved. Welcome back to the King of Reviews. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a 2016 zombie horror movie called Train to Busan. Spoiler alert, be cautious and stay prepared. A truck approaches a quarantine zone and immediately, personnel arrive to disinfect the vehicle. The driver inquires about the situation and one of them explains that there was a minor leak in the biotech district, but it shouldn't cause any significant issues. The driver continues on his way, and while reaching for his ringing phone, he inadvertently collides with something on the road. He steps out of the truck and realizes it's a deer. After confirming his vehicle is undamaged, he leaves it on the road. To his surprise, the animal comes back to life. Meanwhile, Suk Wu is at work, engaged in a conversation with a client about stock sales. He notices reports on a news site detailing mysterious fish deaths in a reservoir. His assistant enters the room, and he instructs them to sell all stocks from the company involved. Later, Suk Wu parks his car and has a heated discussion with his ex-wife over the phone regarding their daughter, Soon. She wishes to visit her mother for her upcoming birthday, but he's reluctant to let her go alone. He arrives home, where his mother greets him at the door. Upon entering his daughter's room, he overhears her talking to her mom on the phone, insisting that she can take the train by herself. When she realizes her father is listening, she hangs up. Suk Wu sits beside Soon and asks her to wait a week until he has fewer work commitments so he can take her to Busan. He gives her an early birthday present, only to find out she already has the same item. When he asks what she truly desires, she expresses her longing to see her mom. Soon decides she'll travel alone to spare her father's time. Suk Wu and his mother discuss their daughter, and she advises him to have a heartfelt conversation with his wife when he goes to Busan. He explains the critical nature of his work at the moment, but his mother reminds him that it's also a crucial time in Soon's life. She leaves him with a video recording of their daughter's recital, which he missed. Watching the video, he witnesses how much she's hurting, prompting him to change his mind and decide to take her to Busan. While driving, he talks to Soon about the recital, trying to impart a life lesson. As they make their way, they narrowly avoid colliding with an ambulance on the road. They stop to observe a complete quarantine operation passing by, and suddenly, the young girl notices soot falling from the sky and spots a distant fire in the car's reflection. At the train station, Preparations are in progress for the departure of the train to Busan. The conductor enters his cabin, and attendants also get ready. The coach of a baseball team instructs everyone to take their seats, but their attention is drawn to one of their cheerleaders who enters the car and starts cheering. In Gil offers John Gil a boiled egg, just as Suk Wu and his daughter board the train. Suk Wu makes a call to his workplace, assuring them he'll be back before lunch. Just before the train departs, a wounded girl rushes into the car. As the train pulls away, Soon witnesses a man attacking a station worker. The girl who entered the train exhibits a bite mark on her leg. Young Suk informs one of the attendants that a peculiar man managed to board the train and has been locked in the bathroom for some time. Soon becomes curious and decides to investigate. Inside the bathroom, the man repeatedly insists that everyone is dead, but the attendant struggles to comprehend his words and tries to persuade him to leave. Meanwhile, the girl with the bite mark wanders through the train, eventually collapsing, yet nobody seems to notice her. Soon expresses her need to use the restroom, but encounters Sangwa, who is guarding the door for his wife. He directs her to another restroom in the next car. The female attendant discovers the bitten girl in convulsions and urgently requests medical assistance. Suk Wu is awakened by his phone and notices that Soon is missing. His assistant informs him of a nationwide crisis. He hangs up and begins searching for his daughter. 
Passengers in the car watch the chaos unfolding on the TV. The attendant repeatedly contacts her supervisor, and the bitten girl suddenly transforms into a zombie. As the two enter another car, terrorizing the passengers, the chief attendant runs toward them when she receives no response. Soon seeks refuge in a bathroom. The zombie attendant attacks her chief, and the passengers in the car are horrified by the unfolding mayhem. The baseball team is the next target of the zombies, and the attendant also succumbs to the infection. Chaos reigns supreme as the chief attendant urges passengers from the next car to flee. In the midst of all this, Suk Wu continues his search for his daughter, only to notice commotion in another car. Soon hears the screams as well, and people rush past them. The father spots the chief attendant being attacked by the infected attendant, who quickly transforms into a zombie. Soon appears behind her father, he seizes her, and they begin a frantic escape, pursued by a horde of zombies throughout the train. Sangwa, guarding his pregnant wife Sien Kyung, senses trouble and rushes to help when a zombie attacks a woman in front of them, responding to Sien Kyung's plea, but he, too, becomes a target. Suk Wu rushes into the next train car, while Sangwa successfully locks the zombie inside the bathroom. He instructs his wife to flee, but more zombies quickly close in. Meanwhile, other passengers are still watching the unfolding chaos on the TV, and people from adjacent cars seek refuge inside. Suk Wu reaches the door and closes it just before Sien Kyung can enter. Sang Wa manages to fend off a zombie and they enter the car, swiftly shutting the door before the infected can enter. Suk Wu observes that the zombies seem unable to open doors and advises the others to let them be. He also realizes that the zombies attack when they see living humans, so Sien Kyung covers the door, effectively pacifying the zombies. A train conductor makes an announcement that they won't be stopping at the next town. Yun Suk uses an intercom to question the conductor about his awareness of the situation on the train. The conductor explains that the order came from the control center. Suk Wu receives a call from his worried mother, who urges him to take care of his daughter. During their conversation, the woman on the phone turns into a zombie. Suk Wu realizes what has happened, but keeps it from seeing. As the train slows down, people from the passing station start banging on the windows, begging for help, while zombies attack and devour them. In a public announcement, a government official reports violent riots in several major cities, resulting in numerous casualties. Major districts have been closed down by the government, and passengers on the train check social media, watching videos of people being attacked. The announcement continues, declaring a state of emergency. The official advises citizens not to trust fake news and to stay calm and at home, assuring them that their safety is not compromised despite the burning cities. On the train, people have cordoned off the door and are moving in the opposite direction. Sian informs her father that her mom's phone isn't working, so he settles her down while he attempts to make a call. Eng Gil persuades John Gil to take the seat next to them, and the girl willingly offers her own seat. Sang Wan notices the father and child approaching and still carries a grudge from when Suk Wu shut the doors in their faces earlier. Suk Wu scolds the girl for being selfless, emphasizing the importance of looking out for oneself in such situations. Another announcement from the conductor reveals that they will stop at a station where the military has been deployed to secure the train. Suk Wu overhears Yun Suk discussing entry into various cities on the phone, and it appears that the station they are stopping at is not on the list. He instructs his daughter to stay put and heads to another car to make a call. Sang Wa inquires about the girl's father, and when she mentions that he's a fund manager, he remarks that it means he's a bloodsucker. The child concurs, and Sang Wa's wife tries to lighten the mood by offering her some candy. She also encourages the girl to greet her unborn baby and feel the baby's kicks. Seo Eun feels a kick and smiles. Suk Woo contacts a client whom he believes can help. He inquires about the city they will stop at, and the client informs Suk Woo that they will be quarantined upon arrival. When Suk Woo mentions that his daughter is with him and offers a favor in return for assistance, the man advises him to avoid the main square and head to the east one, assuring that he will inform his men. 
Sukwu notices the homeless man in the car. Later, the train arrives in the city where the military was expected to be waiting, but there is no sign of them. Yunsu pushes his way out first, and all the other passengers follow, including Suk Wu and his daughter. Suk Wu rushes into the next train car, while Sang Wa successfully locks the zombie inside the bathroom. He instructs his wife to flee, but more zombies quickly close in. Meanwhile, other passengers are still watching the unfolding chaos on the TV, and people from adjacent cars seek refuge inside. Sukwu reaches the door and closes it just before seeing Kim can enter. Sangwa manages to fend off a zombie and they enter the car, swiftly shutting the door before the infected can enter. Sukwu observes that the zombies seem unable to open doors and advises the others to let them be. He also realizes that the zombies attack when they see living humans, so seeing Kim covers the door, effectively pacifying the zombies. A train conductor makes an announcement that they won't be stopping at the next town. Yun Suk uses an intercom to question the conductor about his awareness of the situation on the train. The conductor explains that the order came from the control center. Suk Wu receives a call from his worried mother, who urges him to take care of his daughter. During their conversation, the woman on the phone turns into a zombie. Suk Wu realizes what has happened but keeps it from seeing. As the train slows down, people from the passing station start banging on the windows, begging for help, while zombies attack and devour them. In a public announcement, a government official reports violent riots in several major cities, resulting in numerous casualties. Major districts have been closed down by the government, and passengers on the train check social media, watching videos of people being attacked. The announcement continues, declaring a state of emergency. The official advises citizens not to trust fake news and to stay calm and at home, assuring them that their safety is not compromised despite the burning cities. On the train, people have cordoned off the door and are moving in the opposite direction. Sian informs her father that her mom's phone isn't working, so he settles her down while he attempts to make a call. Ng Gil persuades John Gil to take the seat next to them, and the girl willingly offers her own seat. Sangwon notices the father and child approaching and still carries a grudge from when Suk Wu shut the doors in their faces earlier. Suk Wu scolds the girl for being selfless, emphasizing the importance of looking out for oneself in such situations. Another announcement from the conductor reveals that they will stop at a station where the military has been deployed to secure the train. Suk Wu overhears Yun Suk discussing entry into various cities on the phone, and it appears that the station they are stopping at is not on the list. He instructs his daughter to stay put and heads to another car to make a call. Sangwa inquires about the girl's father, and when she mentions that he's a fund manager, he remarks that it means he's a bloodsucker. The child concurs, and Sangwa's wife tries to lighten the mood by offering her some candy. She also encourages the girl to greet her unborn baby and feel the baby's kicks. Seo Eun feels a kick and smiles. Suk Woo contacts a client whom he believes can help. He inquires about the city they will stop at, and the client informs Suk Woo that they will be quarantined upon arrival. When Suk Woo mentions that his daughter is with him and offers a favor in return for assistance, the man advises him to avoid the main square and head to the east one, assuring that he will inform his men. Suk Woo notices the homeless man in the car. Later, the train arrives in the city where the military was expected to be waiting, but there is no sign of them. Yun Su pushes his way out first, and all the other passengers follow, including Suk Wu and his daughter. Suk Wu rushes into the next train car, while Sang Wa successfully locks the zombie inside the bathroom. He instructs his wife to flee, but more zombies quickly close in. Meanwhile, other passengers are still watching the unfolding chaos on the TV, and people from adjacent cars seek refuge inside. Suk Wu reaches the door and closes it just before seeing Kim can enter. Sang Wa manages to fend off a zombie and they enter the car, swiftly shutting the door before the infected can enter. Suk Wu observes that the zombies seem unable to open doors and advises the others to let them be. He also realizes that the zombies attack when they see living humans, so seeing Kim covers the door, effectively pacifying the zombies. 
a train conductor makes an announcement that they won't be stopping at the next town. Yun Suk uses an intercom to question the conductor about his awareness of the situation on the train. The conductor explains that the order came from the control center. Suk Woo receives a call from his worried mother, who urges him to take care of his daughter. During their conversation, the woman on the phone turns into a zombie. Suk Woo realizes what has happened, but keeps it from seeing. As the train slows down, people from the passing station start banging on the windows, begging for help, while zombies attack and devour them. In a public announcement, a government official reports violent riots in several major cities, resulting in numerous casualties. Major districts have been closed down by the government, and passengers on the train check social media, watching videos of people being attacked. The announcement continues, declaring a state of emergency. The official advises citizens not to trust fake news and to stay calm and at home, assuring them that their safety is not compromised despite the burning cities. On the train, people have cordoned off the door and are moving in the opposite direction. Sian informs her father that her mom's phone isn't working, so he settles her down while he attempts to make a call. Eng Gil persuades John Gil to take the seat next to them, and the girl willingly offers her own seat. Sang Wan notices the father and child approaching and still carries a grudge from when Suk Woo shut the doors in their faces earlier. Suk Woo scolds the girl for being selfless, emphasizing the importance of looking out for oneself in such situations. Another announcement from the conductor reveals that they will stop at a station where the military has been deployed to secure the train. Suk Woo overhears Yun Suk discussing entry into various cities on the phone, and it appears that the station they are stopping at is not on the list. He instructs his daughter to stay put and heads to another car to make a call. Sang Wa inquires about the girl's father, and when she mentions that he's a fund manager, he remarks that it means he's a bloodsucker. The child concurs, and Sang Wa's wife tries to lighten the mood by offering her some candy. She also encourages the girl to greet her unborn baby and feel the baby's kicks. Seo Eun feels a kick and smiles. Suk Woo contacts a client whom he believes can help. He inquires about the city they will stop at, and the client informs Suk Woo that they will be quarantined upon arrival. When Suk Woo mentions that his daughter is with him and offers a favor in return for assistance, the man advises him to avoid the main square and head to the east one, assuring that he will inform his men. Suk Woo notices the homeless man in the car. Later, the train arrives in the city where the military was expected to be waiting, but there is no sign of them. Yun Suk pushes his way out first, and all the other passengers follow, including Suk Woo and his daughter. Suk Woo rushes into the next train car, while Sang Wa successfully locks the zombie inside the bathroom. He instructs his wife to flee, but more zombies quickly close in. Meanwhile, other passengers are still watching the unfolding chaos on the TV, and people from adjacent cars seek refuge inside. Suk Woo reaches the door and closes it just before Seeing Kyung can enter. Sang Wa manages to fend off a zombie and they enter the car, swiftly shutting the door before the infected can enter. Suk Woo observes that the zombies seem unable to open doors and advises the others to let them be. He also realizes that the zombies attack when they see living humans, so Seeing Kyung covers the door, effectively pacifying the zombies. A train conductor makes an announcement that they won't be stopping at the next town. Yun Suk uses an intercom to question the conductor about his awareness of the situation on the train. The conductor explains that the order came from the control center. Suk Woo receives a call from his worried mother, who urges him to take care of his daughter. During their conversation, the woman on the phone turns into a zombie. Suk Woo realizes what has happened, but keeps it from seeing. As the train slows down, people from the passing station start banging on the windows, begging for help, while zombies attack and devour them. In a public announcement, a government official reports violent riots in several major cities, resulting in numerous casualties. Major districts have been closed down by the government, and passengers on the train check social media, watching videos of people being attacked. The announcement continues, declaring a state of emergency. 
The official advises citizens not to trust fake news and to stay calm and at home, assuring them that their safety is not compromised despite the burning cities. On the train, people have cordoned off the door and are moving in the opposite direction. Sian informs her father that her mom's phone isn't working, so he settles her down while he attempts to make a call. Eng Gil persuades John Gil to take the seat next to them, and the girl willingly offers her own seat. Sangwon notices the father and child approaching and still carries a grudge from when Suk Woo shut the doors in their faces earlier. Suk Woo scolds the girl for being selfless, emphasizing the importance of looking out for oneself in such situations. Another announcement from the conductor reveals that they will stop at a station where the military has been deployed to secure the train. Suk Woo overhears Yun Suk discussing entry into various cities on the phone, and it appears that the station they are stopping at is not on the list. He instructs his daughter to stay put and heads to another car to make a call. Sangwa inquires about the girl's father, and when she mentions that he's a fund manager, he remarks that it means he's a bloodsucker. The child concurs, and Sangwa's wife tries to lighten the mood by offering her some candy. She also encourages the girl to greet her unborn baby and feel the baby's kicks. Seo Eun feels a kick and smiles. Suk Woo contacts a client whom he believes can help. He inquires about the city they will stop at, and the client informs Suk Woo that they will be quarantined upon arrival. When Suk Woo mentions that his daughter is with him and offers a favor in return for assistance, the man advises him to avoid the main square and head to the east one, assuring that he will inform his men. Suk Woo notices the homeless man in the car. Later, the train arrives in the city where the military was expected to be waiting, but there is no sign of them. Yun Suk pushes his way out first, and all the other passengers follow, including Suk Wu and his daughter. Suk Wu rushes into the next train car, while Sang Wa successfully locks the zombie inside the bathroom. He instructs his wife to flee, but more zombies quickly close in. Meanwhile, other passengers are still watching the unfolding chaos on the TV, and people from adjacent cars seek refuge inside. Suk Woo reaches the door and closes it just before Seeing Kyung can enter. Sang Wa manages to fend off a zombie and they enter the car, swiftly shutting the door before the infected can enter. Suk Woo observes that the zombies seem unable to open doors and advises the others to let them be. He also realizes that the zombies attack when they see living humans, so Seeing Kyung covers the door, effectively pacifying the zombies. A train conductor makes an announcement that they won't be stopping at the next town. Yun Suk uses an intercom to question the conductor about his awareness of the situation on the train. The conductor explains that the order came from the control center. Suk Woo receives a call from his worried mother, who urges him to take care of his daughter. During their conversation, the woman on the phone turns into a zombie. Suk Woo realizes what has happened but keeps it from seeing. As the train slows down, people from the passing station start banging on the windows, begging for help, while zombies attack and devour them. In a public announcement, a government official reports violent riots in several major cities, resulting in numerous casualties. Major districts have been closed down by the government, and passengers on the train check social media, watching videos of people being attacked. The announcement continues, declaring a state of emergency. The official advises citizens not to trust fake news and to stay calm and at home, assuring them that their safety is not compromised despite the burning cities. On the train, people have cordoned off the door and are moving in the opposite direction. Sian informs her father that her mom's phone isn't working, so he settles her down while he attempts to make a call. Eng Gil persuades John Gil to take the seat next to them, and the girl willingly offers her own seat. Sangwa notices the father and child approaching and still carries a grudge from when Suk Woo shut the doors in their faces earlier. Suk Woo scolds the girl for being selfless, emphasizing the importance of looking out for oneself in such situations. Another announcement from the conductor reveals that they will stop at a station where the military has been deployed to secure the train. Suk Woo overhears Yun Suk discussing entry into various cities on the phone, and it appears that the station they are stopping at is not on the list. He instructs his daughter to stay put and heads to another car to make a call. 
Sangwa inquires about the girl's father, and when she mentions that he's a fun manager, he remarks that it means he's a bloodsucker. The child concurs, and Sangwa's wife tries to lighten the mood by offering her some candy. She also encourages the girl to greet her unborn baby and feel the baby's kicks. Seoeon feels a kick and smiles. Subwoo contacts a client whom he believes can help. He inquires about the city they will stop at, and the client informs Sukwoo that they will be quarantined upon arrival. When Sukwoo mentions that his daughter is with him and offers a favor in return for assistance, the man advises him to avoid the main square and head to the east one, assuring that he will inform his men. Sukwoo notices the homeless man in the car. Later, the train arrives in the city where the military was expected to be waiting, but there is no sign of them. Yun Suk pushes his way out first, and all the other passengers follow, including Suk Woo and his daughter. The remaining children from the baseball team exit the train, armed with baseball bats. An attendant guides the conductor to the car filled with zombies, where Yun Suk intercepts them. He informs them that Busan is one of the few cities still accessible and urges the conductor to detach the zombie-filled car. However, this proves impossible. The conductor agrees that they should head directly to Busan, but insists on retrieving the passengers from the train first. In the meantime, the passengers make their way into the deserted station. Sukwu, accompanied by Suun, moves into a cordoned off area to access the East Square. The homeless man follows them, having overheard their conversation and wanting to join them. Suun wishes to inform the others, but becomes upset when her father forbids it. As the remaining passengers descend on the escalator, Sangwa detects something amiss in the station. Simultaneously, a man emerges at the end of the hallway where Suk Wu and Soon are standing, prompting the homeless man to chase after him. Suk Wu instructs Soon to stay put and pursues them as well. When the passengers reach the bottom of the escalator, they discover that the military personnel have turned into zombies. The horde attacks the passengers. Sangwa acts quickly and helps his wife onto the stairs to escape. Sukwu receives a call from his client who reports being unable to reach his men. A zombie appears behind the officer in the hallway and attacks him. The homeless man slips as more zombies appear, devouring the officer. Sukwu rushes back to Soon, who narrowly avoids being attacked thanks to Sangwa's intervention. Soon Kyung rescues her, and they flee together. The baseball team waits at the door, closing it once they all enter. Sukwu grapples with a zombie on top of him, and the homeless man aids him before racing toward the door. Sangwa notices and opens it, holding it ajar for Sukwu. Together, they push the door closed, attempting to secure it. Sung Kyung is almost at the train when she notices some passengers being overrun by the station's zombie horde. They continue running down the stairs, and passengers from the other side board the train. Suddenly, the station's horde breaks through the windows and descends onto the train. One zombie falls over Jang Gil, but it's too disfigured to reach her. Soon Kyung and Soon lead the other sister in the opposite direction, with a zombie in pursuit. Jang Gil is saved by an attendant and the cheerleader, managing to get onto the train just in the nick of time. The other sister, the girl, and the pregnant woman enter another car, allowing the homeless man to join them before the zombies close in. The zombies encircle the train, compelling Yun Suk to urge the attendant to get moving if they are to have any chance of survival. The cheerleader expresses reluctance to leave because her friends are still outside, but the attendant contacts the conductor and instructs him to commence the departure. In the meantime, Sangwa eventually manages to secure the door. Suddenly, the horde breaches the glass barrier as the men make their escape. They notice the train is quickly moving away, but as they reach the base of the stairs, two of the baseball players are caught by the zombies. The last player freezes momentarily, but Suk Woo motivates him, urging him to get moving and guiding him inside the train in no time. Sangwa falls behind, and Suk Woo extends a hand to help him, but instead, the man grabs a baton and a shield, using them to fend off the oncoming zombies. Eventually, he too manages to board the train. Meanwhile, the conductor contacts the control center to inquire about an open path to Busan. 
He is advised to continue on that route, but he requests notification when contact is established with the station. Sung Kyung and the others find themselves trapped between two cars filled with zombies. She spots an unoccupied restroom and signals for the others to join her. They all cram into the restroom, and as Sung Kyung enters, a zombie lunges at her. They struggle to keep the door secure as other zombies attempt to enter. Inside another part of the train, some passengers are blocking the glass doors when the conductor announces that they are heading straight to Busan. The cheerleader receives a call from the last surviving baseball player, who apologizes for the loss of everyone else. Simultaneously, Suk Woo tries to reach his daughter, but suddenly, he hears sang speaking to her on his phone. She informs him that they are trapped in a restroom in car 13. The baseball player informs them that the remaining survivors are in car 15. The men prepare to rescue the others. sang formulates a strategy, positioning himself in the front, the boy in the middle, and suk Woo in the rear. They decide to wait until they pass through a tunnel. As soon as they are spotted, the zombies react and the three of them launch into action. sang starts eliminating zombies with his bare hands, with suk Woo assisting from the side, and the boy employs his bat as a weapon. They fight as an unstoppable team. Upon entering the next car, they encounter a group of zombie baseball players, and the boy freezes in terror. sang pushes him to safety and battles the zombies. suk Wu locates one of their baseball bats and attempts to fend off the zombies. They become locked in a standoff with the baseball zombies, and the boy is rendered helpless. Suddenly, they pass through another tunnel, and the zombies begin behaving strangely. suk Wu makes a noise with the bat, which diverts the zombies' attention, enabling them to escape. As the train exits the tunnel, the zombies renew their attack. They take a breather between cars, and suk Wu devises a plan to use their phones as decoys when the train enters another tunnel. They enter the car under the cover of darkness, knowing that the zombies can't see them. suk Wu tosses sang phone to the back of the car and calls it, luring the zombies toward it. This diversion allows them to slip away without engaging in combat. They finally reach the restroom, and there's a heartwarming reunion as they see each other. The baseball player finds another restroom, and when they pass through a tunnel, he guides the others inside. suk Wu calculates the time until the next tunnel, and the boy sends a text to his girl in car 15. The cheerleader is delighted that he'll be arriving at their car safely, so she shares the news with everyone. However, Yun Suk is thrilled about their arrival, fearing potential infection, and it appears that others share his concerns. She pleads with the attendant to help her convince the others, but even he agrees with Yun Suk. Once the train reaches another tunnel, they all exit the restrooms, but they now face the challenge of getting past the zombies. Everyone crawls through the luggage racks, and Suk Wu distracts the zombies while they maneuver to the next car. The homeless man stumbles, and suk Wu rushes to his aid, and they both find themselves stranded in the car as the train enters the tunnel. suk Wu counts down until they can make a run for it, but the homeless man accidentally steps on a soda can, alerting the zombies. They still manage to get through the door, but sang gets stuck holding the door as a zombie becomes wedged in it. The baseball player tries to contact his girl in the other car, but they've sealed the door from their side and won't respond. suk Wu goes over to assist sang while the boy attempts to break through the other door. Suddenly, a zombie bites sang but they finally manage to break down the door to the other car. The baseball player tries to enter, but yun suk holds the door shut. The other men join in to help him, and jong gil and the cheerleader put up a fight from inside. Sung Kyung moves toward her husband, who tells her to stay away and instructs suk Woo to take her and leave because he's growing exhausted. sang asks suk Woo to take care of her, and suk Woo expresses his regret. Suddenly, the door gives way, and they have to go. sang doesn't give in easily and holds off the zombies. The others open the door and enter the car. suk Woo grabs his daughter and Sung Kyung but can't reach Eun Gil in time. He closes the door and immediately confronts Yun Suk, calling him a despicable person. Yun Suk insists that Suk Wu is infected, 
and the attendant instructs them to move to the vestibule. Passengers from car 15 insist they should leave. The homeless man exits first, and the cheerleader opts not to stay with them, joining the baseball player. Sung Kyung suggests they should leave as well, and Suk Woo follows. The others seal them inside the vestibule. Jong Gil spots her zombified sister on the other side of the door and opens it before anyone can stop her. The passengers from car 15 are overwhelmed by the zombies. Meanwhile, the conductor calls in to inquire about the situation in Busan but receives no response, only witnessing fires burning in the city. Suk Woo finally gets a chance to speak with his daughter, promising to take her to her mom for her upcoming birthday. Later, he receives a call from his assistant, who informs him that Busan has the strongest defense among all cities. He also reveals that the virus originated from one of their companies. The train suddenly comes to a halt due to a blockade. The conductor announces that he will locate another train to transport the remaining passengers to Busan. Yun Suk and the attendant have managed to survive the zombie attack. The conductor inspects the first train he encounters, but since it's infested with zombies, he goes in search of another one. Suk Wu tells the group that they need to move and find a way to reach Busan. Meanwhile, the conductor continues his search for an available train. He eventually finds an empty train and begins moving it. Yun Suk and the attendant are trapped in a restroom. Yun Suk instructs the attendant to go first and pushes him into the zombies to escape. In the meantime, a burning car crashes into the area where the survivors are, separating them. The baseball player manages to get the cheerleader into a train, and as he attempts to break open the door, Yun Suk enters, sacrificing the girl and leaving the baseball player to fend off the zombie. He eventually escapes, and the boy dispatches the zombie. However, the girl starts to turn and bites him. Meanwhile, Suon wakes Suk Woo. The two of them, along with Soon Kyung and the homeless man, find themselves trapped beneath a train overrun by zombies. Yun Suk rushes toward a moving train, and when the conductor tries to assist him, Yun Suk leaves him behind as well. The train car continues to collapse, but Suk Woo discovers a way out. Just as he turns to help the others escape, the gap caves in. Zombies break through the train car's windows, and the homeless man attempts to prevent them from reaching the girls. Suk Woo reopens the gap, and they manage to get out, leaving the man behind. Sun Kyung, Suk Woo, and the boy flee from the horde, following the moving train car. All the zombies from the station pursue the car, piling up against it. They manage to board the train, but so do the zombies, clinging tightly to it. Suk Woo struggles to remove them and eventually succeeds. The three search for the conductor but discover a half-turned Yun Suk in the cabin. He manages to open the door, and Suk Woo realizes that he's infected. When Yun Suk's transformation is complete, he attacks them. Suk Woo fights him off, and Sun Kyung helps by removing him from Suk Woo's back. Yun Suk bites Suk Woo. Suk Woo chains himself to the train, flings Yun Suk off, and realizes he's been bitten. Before he fully transforms, he guides them into the cabin, explaining where the brakes are. Suk Woo urges Sun Kyung to stay with the boy and reach Busan, as he releases himself from the girl's grip. He leaves her behind, crying and screaming. As he begins to turn into a zombie, he recollects the day Sun Kyung was born and then jumps off the train car. Sun Kyung and the boy are forced to disembark the train due to a blockade on the tracks. They continue on foot through the rubble and bodies, eventually entering a dark tunnel. On the other side, they encounter the military, with a sniper taking aim at them but unable to determine if they are infected. An order to kill them is given, but suddenly, Suong begins singing her recital song. The soldiers identify them as survivors, providing a glimmer of hope in their desperate situation. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video to encourage us to provide you with the best.